Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Staff Sergeant Halvey. I'm a recruiter's assistant with the California Air National Guard. In today's topic, we're gonna to be discussing a question I get asked a lot from both my Marine and Army buddies is, can you transition into the Air National Guard even though you've served in another branch? And the quick answer to that is yes. Now, before we get into that topic, for those who are interested or have any questions in regards to joining the California Air National Guard specifically, please contact us at 805 415-7269. And as always, we want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to Airman Vision for allowing us to utilize this platform to help better educate and answer all the questions you may have. Now, before we get into today's topic, a little bit about myself. I've been in the Air Force for about eight years now. Six of those were spent on active duty where I was stationed at Kerlin Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And just like many of you, we get homesick, we miss our family, we miss our friends. And I thought that the Guard was a perfect way for me to serve from home, keep my benefits most importantly, and to be closer to family and friends. Now to dive into the topic and answer some of the questions that you guys may have. First one that I always get is, do I have to attend Air Force BMT? And the answer to that is no. As long as you've attended BMT in whatever branch you're serving in, we will accept that. Second question I get is, do I have to go to Air Force Technical Training School? And the answer to that is yes and no. Now, if you're trying to transition into a different job, of course, you're gonna have to attend our training, our school, and to give you guys a little bit more about what technical training is or technical school, it's the equivalent of, for my soldiers out there, your AIT and my Marines MOS school. However, there are some exceptions to that rule. Certain MOSs actually do convert over to the Air Force side. Let me give you guys a quick example. An example would be someone in the Army holding the MOS of a 92 Yankee. Now, being that they completed their AIT, that job would actually convert over to the Air Force side, which is material management. Now onto the next most important question that everybody wants to know. Are we sending you back to E1? Yeah, we're gonna send you back to E1. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Can you keep your rank? Yes, as long as it says on your DD-214, that you got out at the rank you did, we will honor that. So all my E4 Mafia folks, as long as it says you had E4 as your rank when you got out, you'll be able to keep that. Now for my E5s, this is a little more simpler. As long as you completed your E5 upgrade training or your school, we will honor that as long as you wore the rank for a little while. Now for E6, it might be a case by case. That depends on what unit you're trying to go to and what's available. So please contact your local recruiter and see exactly the specifics you need in order to keep your rank. Last but not least, guys, please keep a copy of all your medical records, a copy of your DD-214 and your fitness scores. Those are the three main things that we need in order to get the process started. Now, for those of you who are trying to come back to sunny California, if you have any questions in joining the California Air National Guard, please contact us at 805-415-7269. And as always, thank you guys for your time. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.